Hi, Adele, with another tutorial about the oral eye test. Today we're going to look at what you need to know for the matkonet, which is in just about two weeks' time. So, of course, until you have to do the matkonet with your kids, set up with your computer gal or guy to get to the computer room and to try out the headphones, to, to be sure that you know how many students apart you have to seat your students according to the acoustics of your room and the quality of your headphones. The students do not need to go into the eye test more than once. One time of playing around with it, as I showed you in the funky features, which I'll attach here as well, show them the different funky features, the different things that they know in order to do the recording, and that's enough. One double lesson is more than enough for most students. Another thing you should, before you do the model exam with them, is be sure that your tech person has downloaded the latest version of the model exam. That was updated at the beginning of this week, so just be sure that you have the very latest exam because that includes the written prompts that they'll be seeing on the screen. Finally, before we go to the computer, any technical glitches that you have while they're doing the model exam, you have your tech person call up Matach immediately. Do not wait for later. Have them call up Matach. Matach will be with them on the phone and work it out. Matach need to know what the problems are and be there with you online and they can help you work it out. So that's my intro. Let's go to the computer. You're looking at the Read Oral Eye Test for Group Preparation site, which we've prepared to you to help you and your students be ready for the oral exam. On the page that says COBE Committee, you have all of the materials that the COBE Committee, the official committee that wrote the exam, have prepared for you. The explanations, the Excel file, and you should really read through everything here very carefully and be sure that you understand it. In addition to that, we've prepared a different Excel sheet for you to use during your matkonet, which instead of having 25 grades for each kid, we'll have only 10 grades for each kid out of 100, like we've always done in the past. So I'm going to walk you through the materials that we've prepared, which we've put on a page called matkonet, as you can see up here. And there are two ways that we can think about for doing this. You can decide which way to do it, and if you have another idea, send it to us and we'll update it. Of course, before you do the matkonet, you should be taking your students into the model exam and practicing there just to get them used to the platform um, and to experience what it's like with recording their answers. And if I'm at that juncture already, if they have good headphones, they don't need to talk very loudly in order to record, which is why in my school, we found that sitting people on every other computer with the headphones and talking at a relatively quiet level like this, it picks up the students' voices and it doesn't pick up their neighbors' voices. So this is something you'll want to remind them to do. I suggest you read the suggestions that we have here and choose which one suits you and your staff best. So let's look at the files. This is probably what the most important and the most helpful thing that has come out of all of this preparation site is the marathon. This was built for schools that finish teaching English in January, but are only going to be doing the exam later on in March or even in, for the May date, and won't be seeing their students for an extended period before the exam. So we put together the marathon in order to be able to have schools who will be getting intensive hours just before the exam to be able to do it in an organized manner. But as a teacher who's preparing her students to be tested in May, but I already pr started preparing them a few weeks ago, I've been using this plan also because it's really thorough and really useful and there are fantastic ideas. So I suggest that everybody use the marathon idea. In order to look at any of these files, you click on the pop-out window, which opens the document. And at first there's, and just work through this document. And it really, really has an entire plan that you'll be able to use in order to prepare your students 
thoroughly and well for the eye test. You have the letter to coordinators from Judy, which you'll read on your own, and here are the read rubrics. Again, it's based on the COBE rubrics, but it's simplified so that it's only 10 grades per student, and there's rubrics for four points and rubrics for five points. Be sure that you're using the relevant rubric. What we don't have here on our rubrics, but I'll add it after I finish this tutorial, is the deduction scale for length, which is used only on the part for the project presentation because it's supposed to be at least two minutes. Um, I'll put it here in the tutorial. See? This, which I'm going to add to the file after I finish this tutorial. While you're doing the matkonet, if you choose you can use this file, which is the M13 file, which you've used in past years. This is not official. We just called it the M13 so that it would be something that you're familiar with. But you do not have to share this or send this to anybody. You should save it. It's just a way to record the grades for whatever reason. You can print this out and use this again if you wish. If you use it, save it. Underneath that is the Excel sheet that we've prepared that has only 10 grades for each. In order to access this, you click on the window and pop it out. And this is not a Google file. This is a Word file, which you have to download to your computer by clicking Download. And you'll save it in whatever file you want to save it in. And once you've saved it, you enable editing, give it a name, here you should fill either the name or Tudatsuhut of the student being tested. And this is, all of the calculations have already been prepared for you. What you do have to be very, very careful to pay attention to is that there are two different tabs here because the calculations are different for four points and for five points. So this tab is the four point tab and this tab is the five point tab. You be sure to use the tab that's appropriate for you. The columns that are blue are the subtotals and the column that is pink is the grand total. Before I showed you the table for deducting according to length for the project presentation part, that has been worked into this table. So if I, let's say my class is five points, and this is where I'm going to be putting all of their names and their grades. If a student spoke for less than the time that they were supposed to, I will go in here and write down how many points I'm deducting for length. So if a student has done his project presentation, but it's only somewhere between a, a minute 44 and a minute 20, and you have to deduct five points, I will write here the number five, the number of points that have to be deducted, deducted and that deduction is calculated automatically here and automatically here. So let's see, for example, My favorite student, Moshe Pupik, got 85 on the interview for communicative ability and 90 for accuracy. So his subtotal here is, you can see as you go along, his subtotal is 87. And as you go along, it gets updated in the total exam grade. And here he did 90 and he spoke beautifully. But it was a little bit too short, so I'm deducting. It was only a minute 45, so I'm deducting five points. And that's manifested here. The rest of the test, he did really well, got 100 on 100. And as you see, the numbers are updating themselves all along. And there, that is the total 
for this section, the blue are the subtotals, and his final grade is 95, which includes the deduction in length. This is the file that uh, you're going to be sharing with your Begroot secretary. As I showed in the Funky Features tutorial, there is a clock at the top of the eye test. However, unfortunately, this clock does not show seconds. It only shows minutes. So I suggest you tell your students, of course, they can't have their phones with them, tell your students to borrow a watch. You know, that kind of round thing that we used to use in order to tell the time and has a second hand. And to bring that with them to both the Matkonet and the Begroot, to after they've recorded their project presentation, to listen to it again while they're in the middle of the test, listen to what they've recorded, and time it on their watch. The final thing I want to point out to you, we have these cards that are actually in the marathon itself, but we've also uploaded it separately here. I used it with my class yesterday. I cut up the cards, and as it's written in the instructions of the marathon, I did speed dating, so I divided the class into two, and all of the A's were sitting at a desk, uh, and they got one of these cards. All of the B's had to sit opposite an A and answer the questions. The A's asked the questions, the B's answered the questions. I put a timer on the, on the board, I set the timer for two minutes, and every two minutes, after the bees finished answering the questions that the A's asked them and the timer rang after two minutes, they would get up, move one desk to the right, and they would be asked another group of questions by A. In the middle, we switched roles. The bees were the one that got questions. I gave them another set of questions. There are 24 questions here in this file that you can download and print. And at the end, there are even empty boxes that you can fill in or your students can fill in questions as well. So the second part, the B's were the questioners, the A's were the answerers, and they would move counterclockwise so they didn't get back to the same kids that they were with before. It's a really great activity. My kids loved it. They asked me if we could do more. I told them no. Just kidding. We'll, of course, do more. I hope you find that helpful. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments and they pop up. I'll see them right away and we'll be able to answer them. Don't forget to go through the site, read through the site carefully, use the materials that we gave you. Best of luck to all of your students. The Matkon is coming up in a couple of weeks time and we are going to be ready. Don't forget to click that bell and subscribe. Bye.